Hello, my fellow dirt road travelers. I'm out here at Winter 4x4 Jamboree, and I'm going on a ladies' run on Resurrection, so come along with me. All right, guys, we're out here at Winter 4x4 Jamboree, like I said. So I'm going on a ladies' run with Royal Josiness. We're going to be taking on Resurrection. It is rated a 5. It's going to be a freaking awesome day. So let's go do this. All right, guys, welcome to Resurrection Trail. It's located off Water Tank Road and in between Slip Lock. Now, the trail itself is around 8.5 miles long, give or take a little bit there. And it is recommended that you have 33 plus inch tires. I would recommend 35s just to give yourself a little bit of peace of mind. I would also recommend at least having one locker on board. We used ours quite a bit. I'm also going to recommend that you guys carry some safety equipment with you like a toe strap or having a winch on board. You'll see later in the video why we needed a winch and also good ground clearance for this trail is recommended. All right, guys, the weather is starting to turn on us just a little bit. The rain is coming down. I don't know if you've ever been to Sand Hollow when it starts to get a little bit wet out here, things get slippery. So this is one of our first main obstacles coming on up. All right, guys, same obstacle, but from a different point of view. All right, guys, so after that nice little waterfall, we'll have another one after that, and then we're gonna head on through to the next obstacle. Viva Mexico! <laughs> my favorite. I know, I love her fly. <laughs> All right, guys, so after those double waterfalls, you're going to have another waterfall and a little bit of an uphill climb. You're going to come on through. There is your little bit of a waterfall, and then you're going to hook it on to the passenger side and drive all the way up. All right, here comes Josie on through. <laughs> that, you, you got him, you got him. <laughs> All right, so right up here, you're going to come on to the waterfall. And then with the gladdies, you're going to have to hook it hard, right, all the way up. All right, following right behind is Jem from Jem and the Misfits going on through. Awesome, easy, easy work. All right guys, so after that waterfall and that sharp right turn, you're gonna have two choices. One choice is a nine and the other one is the bypass. 
If you're not up to a nine, use the bypass. This is the nine obstacle. It doesn't look that bad, but let me tell you guys, that is a super steep waterfall and it is raining today. So that is going to be slick as heck. So your bypass is going to be right after you make up that right, you're going to come right up the hillside along this way and follow the ridge on through. Lovely, we have someone to demonstrate the nine obstacle. All right, so the ladies are going to line up and help him out and get him back on his tires. This is definitely a rated a nine obstacle. After that last obstacle, you have a nice little sandy path to climb on up and you get on top of the mesa and look at that beautiful view up here. So after that waterfall that you can bypass that nine, it kind of zigzags around and then you're going to get some nice little off camber climbs coming on through. So here comes the trail on through. You're going to go on down and around and come on through you're gonna have some nice little off-camber climbs all throughout all the way up oh All right, guys, to give you another perspective, this is where it kind of just loops around. You're gonna have some more climbs coming on down to give you a better perspective of everything. And then you're gonna just wrap right on through, on up to the top. Right, guys so after that nice little waterfall you're gonna have this really nice deep downhill descent it's pretty sandy so leave some spacing if you're in a group you don't want to get bunched up at the end of it it gets going kind of fast towards the end 
Now, after that, you're going to continue around and you're going to find yourself smack dab with some more crazy waterfall climbs. So you're going to have about three or four. After that, you're just going to follow the trail on through. You have to do them. There are no bypasses for this point in the trail at all. Here we go on up. Look at Josie making it look so freaking easy. All right, here's some more of those nice uphill waterfall climbs going on to the top. We just keep climbing on up. We're going to get up to a point of the trail where we're going to have some pretty narrow washes going on through. Here's a nice shot of the group coming on through. All those lovely ladies. It was amazing wheeling with all of you guys. Now, right here are those nice narrow washes I was telling you about. Right, guys so as you get out of those narrow washes you're gonna come to a final few waterfalls at the end of this trail nothing too bad nothing too serious Josie's gonna come on through she's gonna make it look so freaking easy like she always does thank you royal Josiness, for inviting me along on this trail I had a freaking blast wheeling with you it was the best time ever All right, guys, so that's going to be the end of Resurrection. It's a rated five trail. It's one of those really nice trails to do on the last day you're out here. Just kind of take it easy and cruise on through. But guys, you know the drill. I'm tired, hungry, and dirty, and that's going to be the end of this dirt road journey. Bye, guys.